critical thinking and these triggers that happen are what are so important to the adult brain to make connections. I think a lot of people today might feel comfortable looking at paintings that have a myriad of details about saints or historical events. What is the artist trying to share with us? 300 years ago, he wanted to keep history alive and, and different stories from the Bible. So we look at different art and we look at art from history and some of us who have studied history might see things they're familiar with. But boy, they look at Jackson Pollock, who had all these drip paintings, and they say, what is that saying to me? Everybody's response is as valuable as the next person's. But you know, you have to slow down. And if you look at some of those drip paintings, and you start to see that they're a web of lines moving in all different directions, and then you look at the label on the wall, and it says, this was painted in 1948, and he lived in New York City. And can you imagine how frantic, distracted, uh, bustling that metropolis was? If you slow down and look at it, you pick up the cacophony of the streets, the, the cabs with their uh, horns honking, it is all there in those paintings. But we have to give it a minute maybe to allow our brains to engage with it. And all of a sudden, without a single painted car, you've got the dynamics of a traffic jam. So that's those critical thinking skills that people who are willing to engage with art get as a plus. They get to go back to New York in the 1950s. They get to go back to Rome in the 1700s. And all of those connections keep the imagination stimulated. They reduce your stress levels. And they build a positive self-awareness of where you fit in your own world.